Hey everyone, did you know 81% of all cats living in the United States and Canada are indoor cats? That's great for them. Indoor cats live longer, healthier lives. But it also means that there's a whole bunch of cats out there sitting on their windowsill, looking outdoors, wishing they were outside. Well, I have a solution, at least for my cat Serena. I'm going to teach my cat Serena how to walk on a leash like a dog. <laughs> it won't be easy. She does not like change. If I bring out the cat carrier, she's gone. She knows she's going to the vet. If we have company, she's gone. She's hiding somewhere. She likes her territory. And what I'm going to try to do is expand her territory to include the backyard. I envision myself walking her through the neighborhood, but that's not going to happen. We're going to keep it to the backyard. Now, if you haven't met my cat, Serena, she truly is an amazing cat. She has learned how to shoot rubber bands by herself. I didn't teach her. Uh, I call them rubber bands. They're actually hair ties, but she has learned how to shoot them like a person. We've always, I've always had rubber bands that were laying around. We would play catch with them and uh, fetch, I would throw them and she would bring them back and I would throw them and she'd bring them back and we, she'd do that all day long as all the life through them. Uh, and in that process, she learned how to shoot rubber bands. Truly, truly amazing cat, one of a kind cat. You can see her there. But this is about her learning how to walk like a dog on a leash. It's going to be truly a slow process. I'm going to have to introduce the harness to her little bit by little and let her get accustomed to the harness. Then we're going to have to put her outside in a kennel and let her get accustomed to the environment out there. All the sights, the smells, you know, the sounds of outside will probably uh, be totally different to her. She's been outside briefly, but it will be something that she needs to get accustomed to. So we'll gradually work her to eventually being on a leash, walking in the backyard, exploring, uh, you know, and that's the safest thing for her to be outside instead of just free roaming and possibly getting hurt. So I have two harnesses. One harness, which I don't think I'm going to use because it's too thick. And the only way you can get it on Serena is you have to slip her head through this little hole. There's no clips on the side, so that's the only way. And she does not like putting her head through this little hole. So we want to make this as comfortable as possible for her because that's the entire goal. So we're going to use this. It's a little thinner. Um, this clips around her neck like a regular collar would. So it's a little less intrusive. And this clips around her belly. Then we put the leash on and we're off walking around. Now, the hard part is going to get her used to this. So let's put it on her. And go from there. Okay. Let's see if we can get this on you, babies. All right. I know. You're not going to like it. All right. It's easy, sweeties. Just got to get this around your neck. Like show. I know, babies. You just got to get used to it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, we got it on her. She kind of doing a little. 
crab walk. That wasn't hard, was it? Huh? It was easy. What you think? What you think, Serena? Huh? Let's check and see if it's not too tight. I can get my finger underneath there. Get my finger underneath there. Huh? Looks pretty good. What you think, Serena? Huh? What you think? Oh. Got a funny little walk there. So we're just going to let her get used to this harness a couple hours a day or a week or so maybe and then we'll take her outside. Looks like the only problem is her getting used to it is her walking around. Like she has a 10 pound weight on her back. This is something strange for her, not used to it. She's never really worn a collar before. I let her go around the house just as is. As she being an indoor cat only. Serena. All right, we're going to let her just roam around for a while. Well, there you go. Day one of teaching my cat how to walk on a leash. Don't forget to subscribe and like and check back here tomorrow for day two.